Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. Can you run a 30 ton RTU Aon unit off two AA batteries? Come along and let's find out, shall we? Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. What's going on? Here's the story behind it. It came out, they fixed it. Now it's not running again. So it came back out. And this module up here has no power to it. Or has power to it, but it just doesn't work because computers suck. So what it did was took a section of thermostat wire, I ran it over here. I'm gonna monkey bar this one today. I have unhooked the computer downstairs. Now I'm going to unhook the computer module that's going downstairs because um, we don't need that for anything right now. So this is uh, going to a computer like a laptop downstairs and it's sending data to the origin module. I don't want any data. I just want this to um, click over on thermostat. Well, I came up here a couple, uh, like a day, uh, yesterday actually, and we don't have any power to the thermostat. Now, the fans up there, they're variable speed, they're running, there's no point in them to be running because the compressors aren't running. So what I'm gonna do is I'll show you what the air conditioning company did to get us by for that amount of time. We're still waiting on a or or module. And uh, so they kind of, let me get my lip here. There we go. Come on, buddy. All right, so monkey bar over here. So they bypassed the uh, clock filter switch and the airflow switch. Just take that out of the system. And then they dropped a thermostat down the return. Pretty clever, I guess, for a get by rig up job. But the uh, thermostat has no power to it. I'm gonna see what happens when I put batteries in this sucker. I'm just gonna try it. So plus, plus. All right. Cross your fingers. So, this thing could be burned up already. There you go. We have power! That's how you fix an Aon unit, buddy. Take it back to the old school. Take it back to the old school. Yes, sir. So she's running. She's probably not happy how she's running because she doesn't have her little sensors and all that. You know. But, uh... They're going to be nice and cold up there. That's how you do that. So, yeah, I know what y'all are saying. It would be nice if we put gauges on it. Burr, 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 burr. Is this one, this one's not going to run. It's going to only run half phase, like, or half, half of its uh, load. But it's going to cool them down in there, that's for sure. That's pretty dang awesome, that worked. Finally, something I do that works on these damn units. So, thank you for whoever put in the uh, thermostat. Awesome job. I would have never known how to wire that unless I had the proper training on it. This is awesome. I'm happy. This is my second Aon unit I fixed. Or at least got to work until we can get the part. So, um, Guys, it's Jeff the Maintenance Man. That's one of the things I have to deal with with these units. They suck. 
Aeon, you can sponsor my videos if you want. And I'll start saying nice things about you. But until then, I mean, I guess it's my fault because I don't have the training. But why is this so, why is that rattling something? I don't care. I don't have to hear it. I'm out of here. This baby's working. Woohoo! All right. All right, guys. Jeff the maintenance man just had to put some batteries in it. I knew if I put some batteries in it, it'd send a signal to that computer module, and that computer module would be like, oh, oh, it's calling, it's calling. Anyway, Jeff the maintenance man back on the roof messing with that big ass bitch. That's mama. So, uh, y'all have a good one. Stay safe, and as always, like comment and subscribe please all right y'all have a good day